Imagine you are a marketing manager for Adidas or Nike and you are looking for the next superstar athlete, the perfect brand ambassador. What profile are you looking for? What's the perfect recipe for a marketable athlete nowadays? First of all, the athlete needs to be successful. When the world is watching the major sports events, you want your brand ambassadors to win. Ideally for a long time, so the athlete should be young with a bright future ahead. In a perfect scenario, you sign the talents cheap at the beginning of their career instead of overpaying when they already made it to superstars. Lastly, your athlete of choice needs to be marketable, including a global appeal and social media following. You'd rather have someone who's famous around the world and in important markets than a superstar that is only known to a small home crowd. Naomi Osaka checks all those boxes, which is why she was crowned the world's most marketable athlete in 2019. That is especially remarkable because those rankings are usually dominated by men. LeBron James, Cristiano Ronaldo, Roger Federer, Usain Bolt. The biggest superstars are historically almost always men, and they have the biggest paychecks. But this is about to change, and Naomi Osaka is likely to be at the forefront of that transition. We'll explain how she got there, and why she is the dream of every sports marketing executive. Let's start with the basics. Athletic success. Osaka already has a lot of that. She first left her mark when she beat her childhood idol Serena Williams in the US Open final in 2018. Although the match was overshadowed a bit by a dispute between Williams and the umpire, that didn't throw Osaka off track. She went on to dominate the Australian Open in 2019, winning her first two Grand Slam titles in back-to-back -back tournaments. She is the first player to achieve this feat since Jennifer Caprietti in 2001. And then Osaka showed her love for New York again, by winning another US Open title in 2020. Although only 23 years of age, she has managed to win one Grand Slam in three consecutive years and made it to number one in the world ranking. Having that much success pays off, especially in tennis. Since Forbes started the ranking in 1990, the highest paid female athletes have always been tennis players. Steffi Graf, Martina Hingis, Maria Sharapova, Serena Williams, just to name a few. But Naomi Osaka managed to top all of them in 2020. She earned more than $37 million from prize money and endorsements, setting an all-time earnings record for a female athlete in a single year. Maria Sharapova previously held the record with just below $30 million in 2015. That means that Osaka made more money per year than any female athlete in sports history. Tennis is the only major global sport where men and women have some level of equality in their paychecks. The prize money at the four Grand Slam events has been even since 2007, but men still earn more at a lower level. Then again, prize money is only a fraction of Osaka's earnings. More than 90% of her income comes from endorsements. Osaka was even named the world's most marketable athlete in 2019. And here's why. Besides her athletic success at a very young age, her personality plays an important role for her marketability and distinguishes her from other athletes. This is what she said when asked how she's gonna celebrate her first Grand Slam title. Sleep. <laughs> um, I'm not really a social person like that. Um, maybe I'll play video games, I don't know. <laughs> In 2019, the word shy was used over 200 times within online articles to describe Osaka. But that's inaccurate. She might not be as loud and fierce as, let's say, Serena Williams, but has developed her own unique style on and off the court. And she has a distinct sense of humor. Where she got that from? Because my parents aren't very funny. I kind of think I just got it from the internet. <laughs> Osaka's introversion breaks the norm compared to many other overconfident superstar athletes in the limelight. But her wholesome combination of calmness with a great sense of humor make her very relatable and authentic for fans. And if that wasn't enough to call her the most marketable athlete, her roots help as well. Osaka was born in Japan. When she was three, she and her family moved to the US 
settling on Long Island and then heading to Florida. Because of that, she is not only famous and marketable in one, but in two huge markets. The US, the biggest economy in the world, and Japan, the third biggest economy in the world. Osaka held a dual citizenship growing up, but made the wise choice to represent Japan ahead of the Tokyo Summer Olympics. She is expected to be one of the faces of the Games, which had triggered unprecedented levels of excitement among the Japanese public before the coronavirus outbreak. The decision to represent Japan made her even more appealing to Olympic sponsors, like Procter and Gamble, All Nippon Airways and Nishin, which all signed sponsorship deals with Osaka to use her in ad campaigns around the Games. But no company is as important to Osaka's brand and bank account as Nike, which pays her an estimated $10 million dollars a year. Her partnership with the sportswear giant was announced in 2019 after a bidding war with Adidas. The bidding was also fueled because both brands are competing for female consumers. The women's sportswear market is expected to grow rapidly in the coming years and has better margins. That means Adidas and Nike earn more money when they sell products for women and are keen to have influential female brand ambassadors. We explained how brands compete for athlete endorsements in our videos on Nike and on Adidas and Puma. They are both linked in the description. That might be a reason why Osaka managed to secure an extremely rare but lucrative provision in her Nike contract. The company always requires its tennis players to be dressed in Nike gear from head to toe, without any other logos patched on their shirts or hats. This is lucrative real estate for marketers, because cameras focus closely on the player as they serve or get ready for the return. Nike never made an exemption for Williams, Sharapova, John McEnroe, Andrew Agassi or any of the other tennis stars in their portfolio. The only exception until last year was Li Na from China. Osaka became the second, thanks to massive leverage with Sharapova and Williams headed for retirement and the skillful negotiation by her management from IMG. She and her management immediately used the opportunity by signing a patch deal with Mastercard. Osaka will also have her own Nike logo and signature line starting in 2020, which will put her in elite company. Only very few athletes get their individual product line at the swoosh, which is extremely lucrative because the athletes usually get a share of the sales. But what to do with all the cash from endorsements? She takes an example from none other than Kobe Bryant. I want to take an interest in my business now and not wait until the end of my career. Kobe is one of the best to learn from in so many ways. Besides being a global sports icon himself, Kobe Bryant had his own venture capital firm and was quite skilled in investing his money. He was also the one who introduced Osaka to Body Armor, where he was a 10% stakeholder at the time. Besides Body Armor, two more fast-growing companies announced partnerships with Osaka in 2019. Hyperize and Music. The deals will not reach the level of her endorsement earnings, but she received equity stakes in all three startups. She told Forbes in 2019, I'm really interested in seeing a young business grow and adding value to that process. Athletes traditionally often wait until late in their careers or even retirement to launch their next act. But global stars like LeBron James and Roger Federer are turning that trend around, investing and launching businesses while still at their peak. Osaka has accelerated that curve at an age when her peers are just taking the first legal sips of alcohol. Have you ever had a drink? No, I'm 20. <laughs> Netflix announced a series on Naomi Osaka and her way to the Tokyo Olympics. For that project, she joined forces with LeBron James and his media company Uninterrupted. Investment advice from Kobe Bryant, media production with LeBron James and managed by IMG. It looks like Osaka is set for the future with strong partners at her side. We have done quite some video portraits about famous athletes on this channel already, but researching Naomi Osaka was particularly entertaining. If you like this video, make sure to check out some of her interview highlights. Her marketability is a blessing for her partners and for her bank account. And for us viewers, it means that we can look forward to many more years of entertaining performances on and off the tennis court. If you want many more years of athletic interest videos and bless our bank account, make sure to check out our Patreon page.